Welcome to this week on Great Lakes Golf Today. 28 seasons of wonderful golf throughout northwestern Ohio and southeastern Michigan. Mike Jamison with you here today. We're down in Bowling Green, Ohio at beautiful Stone Ridge Country Club and uh, Joe Jesquire and uh, all the great people here. Uh, Jonathan uh, Lennox will be talking a little bit about the course. And I'll tell you what, this course is in just an absolutely perfect, pristine condition. And we got the drone out and are able to fly and get some beautiful shots of what this course is all about. I suggest coming out here really early in the morning just to check out the beauty it's just wonderful wonderful course and we'll be spotlighting it this week right here on Great Lakes Golf Today. Oh, we're here with Joe Jesquire. Joey, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. How you doing, Mike? Gosh, how many years? I was just talking to Jonathan Jeez, about how it. many years? Probably about 30, maybe. It's been, it's been that and uh, still yeah. doing what we do best. Well, you do what you do best. I keep thinking I'm a golfer, but that's just never going to happen. No, that's you. That's, <laughs> that's, exactly. You're great for the game, that's for sure. I, you know what? I, I appreciate that. And, you know, we've, uh, we have we see each other at uh, Northern Buckeye Conference events here with our Toledo Sports Network. And, uh, and, and what you've been able to do down here at Stone Ridge, you know, not only the fact that the course is just beautiful and the, it's just taken such good care of it, it's kind of almost in a you know people want to come here as a destination almost to play because the course is in such beautiful shape yeah we look at it as that it is a destination that it's a it's a resort in northwest ohio and we take care of the course and in, in a way that that everybody's going to be proud sure, proud to sure. play here happy to play here say good things i mean so yeah of course is great we uh, uh we're gonna have jonathan on in a little bit and he'll be talking about uh the the holes themselves but you know when arthur hills put this course together i i mean this is definitely a thinking man's course because you've got so many uh sets of tees you can you know playing for your level of expertise on the thing but i mean if you come out here boy you better be you got to be a good thinking person when you play this course if you yeah. want to score good absolutely and what what was nice is arthur hills played here quite a bit uh -huh. he was proud of his design and i don't know if everyone knows arthur hills passed away yes. here a month or so ago which was which was sad he, he would come visit us and he cared about not only how we were caring for his property here which he was always excited about, you know, to the level that we're able, able to do it. But also, how is the course doing as a business? And, you know, is, is, it, is his property that he's designed going to make it wherever sure. he put it? And he's, he has courses all around the world, about 200 designs. We were probably 150th, you know, in, in his uh, design work. Uh, but he wanted to make sure that his property was successful. Are you doing okay? You know, is there anything else you, you know, you could try or whatever? And you know that that I thought was great that he just didn't build it but he wanted it to succeed and so we're working working hard here to make that happen well and you know we we talk about it a lot you know, the destination but you know your food and and what you've put together for you know we were here for a lot of weddings together I DJ'd your wedding uh, What's, how many oh, years? 96, so 96. Goes back. Wow, 25 <laughs> plus years. Yeah, you've been a you've been a good you've been a good man, and uh, <laughs> it, it's so funny because I did your wedding, Billy Klein's wedding, I did Danny Sutton's wedding. I, yeah. but but I've done a lot of weddings here, and your food is phenomenal, and not to mention the food that you got for golfers or if people just want to come in for dinner, you've got it all set up for them. We do. We're standing out here on our patio. We can seat about, you know, 40, 50 people out here. Uh, during COVID, it was important to have outdoor seating. Sure. And we kind of expanded this, improved the sound out here and the tables and umbrellas and everything. So people like to sit outside. They have a great view of golf behind us here, uh, nine and 18. But it's really, when you're doing golf, it's at a property like this it's a, it's the whole package you have to you have to do great on the range and you know customer service but then if you're gonna have food the food needs to be good people have to be excited after they're around to sit down and grab a bite to eat or uh, for events I mean you, you, you would want to put on a good show with weddings and, oh, definitely. and have the bride and groom you know be proud that they had their event here which you know we've done a lot of renovations inside uh, to make the the room look look great so yeah, it's all, it's all together I, you know Joe we've talked about this before you guys have gotten really big on the Facebook which I think is just 
thumbs up cool because you know guys like me when I see when you put an ad in there your prime rib dinner or your fish dinner or whatever you do I grab that for you and then I bring it over to my three four thousand people and it and it works out real well so that media marketing that you're doing you you want to get on their Facebook site because they you always are updating it and telling what's going on on a Friday night if you want to come out and have a great steak dinner or what prime or whatever it might be and and that's you're, you're you guys get it and that's a good thing that's you know people aren't rereading the newspaper like they did 20 years ago 30 right. years ago you, we can't run an ad and say hey come on out this is what we're doing so it's it's social media you know facebook instagram and stuff a little bit with twitter i mean we don't use twitter sure, a lot sure. but uh yeah it's works it's all out good together for you. yeah all right back to the course are you playing at all are you getting in a little bit you I, were quite the little golfer there no, for a I played, while i played a few holes the other day because it's really inviting when it gets to be this point in the year where everything's green <laughs> oh, out there and striped perfect. and yeah. gorgeous it just calls your name so like yeah i snuck out and played a few holes and it's still it's the reason why I got in the game because I was a golfer, but it's, I live vicariously through the golfers that are playing when they're sure. enjoying themselves out there and seeing the property, you know, that the golf course is in great shape. I mean, and they're telling, saying good things, and I'm happy with that. If I get to play a little bit, then that's what I do. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> Well, we're gonna we're gonna uh, wrap it up with Joe here. We're gonna be talking with uh, Jonathan, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about the holes and everything, and uh, all that's uh, going on here. You've got a beautiful place. It, it's just phenomenal. We've got your phone number on most of this time now here, but down in Bowling Green, uh, basically you just want to get off at the Bowling Green exit, come right down uh, uh, West or what's well, East Gypsy Lane there, and turns into West Gypsy Lane. Bring it all the way down, and uh, and you can't miss this place. It's straight, beautiful. Straight down Wooster, past the university. You're, we're two miles from the front door of the of BGSU. Yeah. So we do a lot with the teams here. The men and women's golf team both play here. Uh, high school golf and such. In the fall, they play here. Otsego, uh Bowling Green High School. Obviously, they play here, and we have a lot of tournaments and matches for them. So, yeah. But it's. Uh, two miles from the highway yep come on down we'd love to have you joe thank you so much for spending some time with us Absolutely. you always are good to us here and uh well we're doing our radio show on saturday mornings on uh, espn 100.7 it, it it's some good stuff here and uh, when we get back we're going to fly this course and we're going to show you What can you expect from working with Fairway Independent Mortgage Corporation? Our branch manager, Marty Bin, can help you navigate through the loan process with the service and speed you deserve. Contact Marty today to get pre-qualified. Make your home buying dreams a reality. Call 419-481-8696 to speak with Marty Bin today. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric. 419-691-8284. There is only one place where you'll find scenic golf at affordable prices. Fallen Timbers Fairways. This golf course offers some of the best golf in Northwest Ohio for any skill level. At Fallen Timbers, they can help you plan for your next outing or event, or even improve your skills with their talented golf instructors. With their exceptional rates, Fallen Timbers is your first choice for great golf. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Easy to find, fun to play, right off Route 24 in Waterville. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Fallen Timbers Fairways. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting, 
and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jameson's Mobile Music and Video. I'm geared up. 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 I'm totally geared up. We're geared up, are you? Get geared up at gearupsportswear.com. Well, we're spending some time with uh, Jonathan Lennox. How you doing, buddy? Mike, good to see you. God, it's we've known each other a long time. Long time. Yeah, we started out in the Brandywine days. What was that, 20 plus years ago? Oh, yeah. I started there in 93, so maybe mid-90s. Wow, incredible. Well, you're the director of golf here at Stone Ridge. The the place absolutely looks beautiful. Uh, what, what kind of, are you guys doing any programs or anything? I see a lot of kids out here, it seems, that are, are working on their golf game. We do have our PGA Junior League uh, kind of a clinic session. We're doing an in-house league this year. We're not doing traveling to play other clubs this year. Um, keep but, them at home. That's a good keeping thing. Keeping them at home. Um, we're a lot, it's a lot more flexible. We can do our schedule how, we, how it works best for all of us and all our kids. So you got a lot of them here, too. I, I was really impressed with uh, uh, how every, the, all the kids were all just set up and doing a real nice job in the early morning. And, of course, you give lessons, and uh, you won't take me on, though. But uh, I don't know if I can manage that. <laughs> 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 but seriously, you do have a wonderful driving range area and some great places to practice your game. And that's what it's really all about, practicing your game. you got to practice the short game especially, uh, especially here when you want to get up and down. If you miss the green, you got elevated greens and you got to... Oh, yeah. Try to knock it close and make that putt. Well, I, on last Tuesday, I shot a 41, and then on Sunday, I shot a 73 for nine holes. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a little do, hot and cold. You do need some uh, warm-up here. Yeah, I need a little bit of warm-up. We're going to warm-up out here on the first hole. And, you know, the, the first hole here is basically you can pretty much grip and rip on this hole. You can grip and rip it. Um, you want to stay in the fairway, but if you don't hit it long, you're going to have a long iron in. You, your best bet might be to miss the green right in the, in the fairway away and try to get up and down because the green slopes away from you and uh, it's a tough tough second shot if you don't have a seven iron or less sure in. you got to be able to hit that six seven iron in here and that's what I worked on all winter and that's the best thing I ever did because I got rid of the driver I'm in five wood now off the tee straight as an arrow about 210 220 but I have to be able to hit that six and seven iron to get in if I want to score yep Hole number three is just the most beautiful setting. It kind of reminds you of going up north. It's just beautiful. The trees on the one side, and it's a, it's a nice hole. It's a good hole. Um, it's very long off the tee, but your approach shot, uh, if you get it on the green, there is a little mound in the green, so it's the green is the equalizer of sure. the hole. If you birdie that hole in an outing, chances are you're going to get a skin. That's a skin hole for you too. Definitely. And 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 like you were saying, it is a long hole, and it, it's kind of it's almost like it's dug out, and you got the water on the right hand side. So this is once again, if you're if you're a slicer, you know this is where you want to bring the three wood out, maybe or maybe a four or five iron, you know, get that thing straight and hit it straight. Yeah, you want to keep it in play. Um, Art Hills, bless his heart design that hole pretty well yeah that's he 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 put a lot into that one there and uh, the beauty of it it is so cool because it's like you're in upper michigan hole number five has got to be absolutely your most one of your most picturesque holes and i love taking the drone and shooting this thing especially depending on what time of the day it is because it's just absolutely gorgeous but could be a treacherous hole depending on that where you're playing the ball it is definitely the signature hole Par three of the course. Um, you got the water. If you play in the back, white, blue, gold tees. You have carry over the water. You got to kind of draw it in there because the green slopes right to left. 
Uh, and then there's, it's two tiered as well. So you got to pay attention to where the pin's at. Mm -hmm. uh, but most people are hitting long iron hybrid into there. And if, if you don't hit it flush, you're going to find the pond. Are you, uh, uh, with this, does the green slope toward the pond too? I mean, is, is it Slightly, breaking yeah. a little yeah. bit? Yeah, if, if you miss the green right, you got to go, come back up over the hump and it slopes towards the water. So that's really tough up and down if you miss the green right. Sometimes you can't you can't really see it that much, but you got to keep it kind of mentally in your mind that it's going to go toward the water, even if it's just a little bit, That that's as fast as your greens are. Yes, definitely. Uh, hole number nine is, I, once again, you, you know, you've got a lot of the Lynx style golf course here, and that's how Arthur Hills designed a lot of his courses. But with this one, this is another one of them holes that, you know, if you're gonna if you're gonna drive it out there, you got some room. But I would once more, I would hit my three wood or my five wood here just to make sure it's in that beautiful yeah. fairway. Yeah, you want to definitely kind of be in the middle of the fairway. If you go left, you make the hole a lot longer. Um, with the green elevated, uh, most people end up leaving themselves short in the bunker, um, just because you don't really think about it being elevated, but the green is up there probably a good 20, 30 feet. Is it one club or two club difference? You I think? would say, depending on the wind, oh, yeah. depending on the blowing of bowling green, um, it can be a two club, two clubber. Um, but you don't want to go long on this hole, so I think that's why most people end up short, because right. they know long is a tough up and down. Hi, this is Dan Sutton here at Heather Downs Country Club for this week's Great Lakes Golf Today Tip of the Week. Early in the season, I see a lot of people have a tough time determining proper ball position. How do you determine proper ball position? Simple little tip here for you. Take a practice swing, and what we want to do, brush the grass, brush the grass, brush the grass. Two things happen when you brush the grass You'll see where your divot is at here, and what we want to have happen is we want to have the ball position right here at the back of our divot, in that when we hit our shot, we want to make contact with the ball, then the ground, if not the ball and the ground at the same time, such as that right there. Okay. How do you determine, uh, this is a nine iron here. So nine iron, ball's position just a little bit right of center for me. One more time here. Good solid contact there, okay? Proper ball position on a sand shot. You're up around the green. Do I position the ball in the front of my stance? Do I position the ball in the middle of my stance? Here again, we want to take practice swings and brush the grass, brush the grass, brush the grass. So I want to move the ball where it's positioned here. If I had the ball positioned a little bit left of center here, I would make contact with the ground, then the ball, and hit it a little bit heavy. Early in the season, I hate seeing anybody hit a ball heavy. So, simple little brush, brush. And where you see yourself brushing the grass at, you want the ball placed right there at the back of your divot. And you'll make good contact with the ball first. So do this on all your shots here. Whether it's a sand wedge, whether it's a nine iron, whether it's a seven iron, whether it's your hybrid, where you brush the grass at consistently here, that's where you want to have the ball placed at here. Do that here, that's going to help your game a bunch. This is Dan Sutton here at Heather Downs. Till next week, hit them straight. Hey golfers, come play Toledo's premier public course, Heather Downs Country Club, is where you belong in 2021. Heather Downs is a beautiful 18-hole layout with stunning views, tee times available seven days a week with great rates. Our clubhouse and banquet facilities are the perfect location to host your golf outing, wedding, banquet, corporate meeting, graduation party, or memorial services. Go to heatherdowns.com or call 419-385-0248. Heather Downs Country Club, where you belong in 2021. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genau Bank, a locally owned community bank providing a full range of banking services. At Genau Bank, we believe a bank should do more than just conduct business. We generally care about the communities we serve and we take our hometown commitment to heart. Our biggest investment will always be in you, whether it's a personal account or business. Genau Bank is committed to outstanding service. We want to know you by name and help you with all your banking needs. Genau Bank, we take your banking needs personally.
Components Plus has been supplying quality golf club components to club builders across the U.S. and Canada since 1989. Located in Southeast Michigan, adjacent to the Legacy by Arthur Hills Golf Course and Claire Batista's Golf Academy. Now, our showroom is open year-round with demo clubs, features, and our newest products available for the customer to try before you buy. Let Components Plus help with your own club building ideas. Once again, welcome back to Great Lakes Golf Today, our 28th season, and uh, Jonathan, you've been a part of it just about all of those seasons. Yeah. You were part of it in the Toledo Golf Today days. Toledo Golf Today, yes. Yeah. So I can remember you making me play number one on TV and Did <laughs> actually somehow made a long birdie putt at Brainy Wine. So. That's why you want to come down here and have him uh, give you a lesson in your game. And uh, uh, do, do you do a lot of just singular lessons where if a guy's just like where I am right now, where it's like, eh, it's, uh, it's the mechanics are one thing off, or you just you know spend a half hour or an hour with somebody? Spend a half hour, an hour with somebody just working on something. Uh, also have June. June one is another PGA professional that works here, and he gives a lot of lessons as well. He helped me out a lot last year when we were down here doing our radio yes. show. Yes, did a real nice job. Well, we're going to go back out on the course. Going to try the back nine here a little bit. Uh, you know, hole number ten is a beautiful starting hole in the back nine, and uh, you guys have just got these holes set up just so nicely. And if you're a really super good golfer, take the tips, take them on. You know, and if you're a Mike Jamison golfer, I don't think you have you don't have uh, t you don't have uh, tee off area for me. Well, you can play the whites. Oh, okay, whites are, right, I'm uh, getting there. Whites is a pretty <laughs> moderate golf, easier golf course. But the golf course does definitely play different depending on what tees. It gives you a different view of how Art Hills designed it. Um, whether the fairway is a tight shot or, or more open where the landing zone is. Um, number 10 especially, it has a hidden pond on the right. So yep. you kind of want to aim over the bunker if you can clear it and uh, at least maybe see the 150 pole and stay left of that because if you go right of the 150 it slopes towards the water and more people go in the water than they know well, hole number 13 is another one of these picturesque par threes that just it just so happened the day we shot that drone footage literally no wind at all so that water was absolutely glass it looked gorgeous and i put so many balls in that water i have too oh. uh, i'm not sure the tee is level once in a while it's you like think that would be I the think problem it's just got a slight slope towards uh -huh. the pond so it drains when it rains oh, and gotcha i i Hit them a little chunky and end up about a foot short every time. My son laughs at me every time we play. Well, it's 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 one of those holes where you really get, yeah. This is a long iron hole. You got to play the. You're not going to hit. Well, we're not going to hit a pitching wedge or a nine iron in here. So you got to you got to be really good. And it's don't push through the club. Just swing the darn club. Swing it. And missing missing left is good. Uh, right is not right. Right, there's a little creek over there by the. It's a good, good hole. It really is. Um, a lot of undulation in that green too. Yeah, it's a s lot of break that you don't see. I think it probably goes towards the water, and we just don't pay attention when we put. I want to go up there and do it like with I think it was John Ron that did it, and he hit the, he he skipped it across the water and rolled it up and put, made a hole in one. I don't know if you could do that because of the rocks. Oh, okay. So that ain't going to happen. <laughs> Story of my life. Beautiful hole, though. Very pretty hole. Yeah, I would say that's our second picturesque hole. 
Uh, hole number 14, one of the longer holes on this course. And uh, once again, it's it's all about shot placement on this course. Arthur Hills does that a lot and, and makes you really plan out what you're going to do. And if you if you think, if you're a logical thinker, you can actually go up to these par fives and, and bring your seven iron out and play seven iron, seven iron, seven iron, and probably score just as well at bringing your driver out and getting in trouble. Yeah, driver, you got to place it in the right place. So there's a bunker that you have to carry, but uh, your, your second shot is the, the key. Uh, if you go a little too far, you get into a fairway bunker that you gotta hit 120. Um, but if you're at the 150 yard marker, what's unique about this hole is you can't see the green. So again, it's, it's kind high. of a blind shot. Yeah. And you might hit a shot up there and think it's great, but there's kind of a false front fairway that you like, you think you're hitting it. Right and you're actually short, and then you're chipping and hoping you're making par after a close chip shot. Probably one of the most beautiful finishing holes in the area, and could also be one of the most treacherous holes 18 in the area, depending on the wind here, and uh, hole number 18, beautiful finishing hole. It is a great finishing hole. You got the pond, you decide how much you want to kind of cut close to it, because the closer you are to it, the shorter the second shot but then the water is in play on the second as well. So the wind is the key. Oh, amen. It, uh, if it's coming out of the southwest, you got it helping you, and you can really bomb it down there and have a short iron in. But most of the time, it's blowing towards the water, and your best bet is just play it short and right and try to get up and down for par if you want to avoid the water. Do you get a lot of guys that think they can make it when that wind's in the plus column? Yeah. Can, can they make it? Oh, to the green? Yeah. No, I yeah. don't. No. Nobody? I, I haven't seen anybody. Oh, okay. Well, I couldn't make Maybe. it. There's no, no doubt about it. Maybe Bryson. <laughs> Jonathan, thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Appreciate thanks for you having working. me on. Yep, you, you've done a good thing for Northwest Ohio golf and uh, been part of it for a long time. And, of course, you make great popcorn when you're we're doing a football or basketball game at Otsego. Yeah, yeah, I help out there once in a while. I like your your hot dogs there. Plus, the food here is wonderful too. Food so. at Stone Ridge is great. Come out for our evening specials during the week. They got something different every night. And it's a good place to eat. Well, I just absolutely adore this place, and uh, and uh, look forward to uh, spending a little time out of here. I'm actually golfing this year. I'm I'm getting out there and I'm playing a little. So I'm going to come down here and. Uh, Bring some of my golfing buddies down. Now my camera guys. Not, yeah, yeah, not the camera guys. No, shooting, no, no, shooting no, no. Shooting 73 with you. Yeah, it. that was not a good day. That was <laughs> not, a, not a good day. But uh, seriously, though, thank you so much for we'll uh, being with right. us. Uh, Joe, once again, did a wonderful job with us here. And uh, don't forget uh, Great Lakes Golf Today. We're on uh, on Facebook. You know, I, I mean, we have the GreatLakesGolfToday.com website, too. But we do everything on Facebook now, and it seems to work out a lot better for everybody. Yeah. And, uh, Easy access and pops up every once in a while. If somebody makes a comment, more people see it. There you go.